the Woody Allen story. <laughs> hey, I like my family as a friend. <laughs> All of who are orphans. Not our story. Well. This boy and girl coming home from school look quite content with life. And why not? They're high. They're looking forward to an important date. Dinner at home with the family. Sylvia? What's the matter? There's a rabbit in there. Sound exciting to you? Well, to them, it's a special occasion, as it has been ever since they sat down to dinner in high chairs. Why should they feel that way about something you take so completely for granted? Look at them. Well, let's see if we can find out. We secretly switched their Folgers coffee. First of all, daughter has changed from school clothes to something more festive. Well, sort of. Dressing a little makes her feel and consequently look more charming. Hmm. Even the table takes on a special air. Ah, and Madame Defarge waits Mother in the living room. Mother, too, changes from her daytime clothes. Into vampire. The women of this family seem to feel that they owe it to the men of the family to look relaxed, rested, and attractive at dinner time. So they're unsuspecting when they kill them. Brother is spending an hour before dinner... Plagiarizing. ...catching up on his homework. Oh. He has plans this evening. But I won't go into detail. Perhaps that explains... Mm -hmm. call. But he won't spend a lot of time on the phone, either. He's mute. When there are several members of the family to be considered, it is not a good idea for one member to monopolize the phone. Yeah, double the bet. And it is never good to allow telephone conversations to interfere with studies. Even if it's the president. Mm. Hi, Mom. I'm pregnant. Hmm, is it that late? Mm. Dad will be here any minute. Uh -oh. Better tell Mother she's needed in the kitchen. Where the postman eagerly awaits. Sorry. One plus one. Oh. Brother mm. notices the time and realizes that he must put things in order and clean himself up in time for dinner. He's got to strip and replace the oil in his hair with summer weight. <laughs> Hello there. Who are you? Junior is always in a hurry, particularly for dinner. But first, there's a cleanup <laughs> job to do on this young man. Brother runs a boy cleaning service on the side. Brother takes it upon himself to help share Junior's responsibility for keeping their room in good order and keeping Junior in good order, too. Brother has a tight psychological grip on Junior. Punctuality is stressed in this household. Hey, look at me. By look that at me. Mean, hair is combed and faces and hands scrubbed before the boys come to the table so they won't delay the meal. Mm, come on, it's time to scrub you. Are we all supposed to be scrubbing each other now? Or? Now, mother and daughter put the finishing touches on the dinner. With strychnine. Salad needs more butter, mother. <laughs> A stranger enters. Father, too, looks forward to this date with the family. Oh. He has had a hard day at the office, and oh. in his case are some contracts which must be looked over tonight. Okay, buck up. Here we but go. But in the meantime, Martini. he will relax at dinner with those he loves. But not these people. A simple centerpiece made from some flowers which grow in the backyard is another of daughter's contributions mm. to the dinner. Funny. But it takes up a little too much room, so she moves it to the sideboard. What you are watching now should have been edited in the final version. My apologies. <laughs> Come on, I'm over here. How much do you earn today? Yeah, These come on, hand it over. Greet their dad as though they are genuinely glad to see him. They're not, of course. As though they had really missed being away from him during the day and are anxious to talk to him. Bob Green. Mm. This is the time for pleasant discussion in a thoroughly relaxed mood. They don't pick this time of the day to spring unpleasant surprises on dad. If they have disagreeable news, they'll postpone the discussion until another time. When he's asleep. This is no time to dun father for a raise in your allowance, mm -hmm. new clothes, or argue about oh, other no. financial <laughs> matters. <laughs> father, I had a feeling today. Well, don't, son. Okay. Ah, dinner time. <sighs> yes, mother. Junior remembered to clean up. You emasculating bent. Hi, I'm Betty, and I'll be your wife tonight. Well, this certainly is pleasant. Brother seats Junior. Daughter obsesses with the flowers. <laughs> then helps Mother to her chair as he would his best girl. The less <laughs> said about this, the better. Yeah. Got it. I got it. I got it, honey. Got... Junior seats Dad, and Sister seats the dog. Well, and the dog... dinner date has begun, and they're all happy about it. Their stomachs knotted like fists. Dad, I'm dating an Negro. <laughs>
Anyone seen our waitress? Many families throughout the country observe the custom of saying grace at mealtime. Please, God, take me now. It is always treated with reverence and respect. Field Marshal Montgomery sits down to eat. Yes, it's smashing. It's good day. Napkins on the lap, the family awaits service. They converse pleasantly mm. while Dad serves. No, I'll, I'll just I said team. pleasantly, I, I for that is the keynote at dinner time. It is not only good manners, but good sense. Emotions are for ethnic people. Pleasant, unemotional conversation helps digestion. I can't stress unemotional enough. Father serves mother first, then daughter. Let's go to the flow chart for this. <laughs> then the boys. Don't worry, fellas, you won't get left. Then be sure to make a plate for the narrator. A violent argument erupts over whose day was more pleasant. Can I have chopsticks, please? Help cut your meat, Junior? Of course. Uh, ow, ow, that's By my example, hand. Ow. Older children can teach younger ones good table manners. Remember, always cut the meat of the person to your left. Uh, you don't have to cut my mashed potatoes, too. But not the jello. No one starts eating until father has served himself. This means you. Always wait for the hostess. To seat you. In this case, mother, to begin eating before you start. Father feigns eating, draws Junior out, then disowns Let father him. father and mother guide the conversational trend if they desire. After all, they made all this possible, and may want to talk over their day with each other. I'm moving to Fire Island, dear. Tell mother how good the food is. <laughs> Even as you gag Maybe on Maybe Cess rates a compliment, too. This stinks. It makes them want to continue pleasing you. After all, that's why God put woman on this green earth. <laughs> well, all this is good general advice, but there are some specific don'ts. Maybe the family will demonstrate for us. Don't monopolize the conversation and go on and on without stopping. God. Nothing destroys the charm of a meal more quickly. Than having a personality. Mm. To say that the rest of the group is bored would be a gross understatement. Mother, do something. At least I have two sons. Don't discuss unpleasant topics mm. such as gruesome sights or sounds. So then Sister Mary Patrick had him up against the wall and nailed him? Or This is a time of pleasure, of charm and relaxation, remember? I have no son. Don't make unkind comparisons about your stand of living. The dinner table is no place for discontent. It makes Dad and Mother uncomfortable and unhappy. And they already dislike you enough. Mm -hmm. Well, there it is. Spankings all around, then. Oh, and she was a big nun with a mustache and this huge black hat. Don't insult your brother or sister with offensive remarks about friends. Arguments, harsh words, mean tension and distress for everyone. Yeah, go piss up a rope. Ah, uh, sit and spin, you cruddy skank. Perhaps booze would alleviate this situation. Do remember simply this. Treat the other members of your family with the same respect and cordiality you would show your most treasured friend outside the family circle. So snap dad's breath? This does I not guess. mean you should be stiff or formal. With your own family, you can relax. Be yourself. Just be sure it's your best self. And be sure no one knows the real this you. This is better. Father does his ferret impression. Now things are on an even keel again. And everyone wants to flee the seething cauldron of now angst. Now we're ready for dessert. Most yeah. families don't have maids. They have daughters. So mother needs help with the serving from the kitchen. Son says mother has done enough. Watch him play butler. In remains of the day. The removal of dishes from the main course and the serving of dessert set the stage for the conclusion of a thoroughly pleasant meal. Probably should have washed my hands after handling that dead woodchuck. Oh, well. Or gin pop? Do you yeah. begin to see now how a date with your family can be a truly special occasion? Do you? Do you? Why brother and sister looked forward to the evening? Well, do you? Better say yes, damn it! When the dinner hour at home is treated with a certain amount of graciousness and ceremony... It can be memorable. Hmm. There is no family so poor, but that the evening meal can be eaten in an atmosphere of warmth and gentleness. And control and repression. There is no family so busy, but that it can come together in the evening for a dinner date, which will give its members something to look back upon with happiness <sighs> all their days. Yeah, this makes me want to heat up a Libby Land dinner and eat in front of the TV. Now, enjoy some refreshments in the lobby. Oh, boy. A snimmel merveille